Right, so um, that is what my simulator predicts this prop is going to do, given those initial starting speeds, orientations and all the physics conditions. Um, in addition to actually plotting the positions, I can actually just make a hologram move between them all. So this green hologram here, um, that's what I predict the prop will do. Now this is subject to a load of uh, physics effects which are rather complicated. I'm not going to go into how it all works um, here. You can read about that on the Wild forums. But it's um, angular and translational drag and uh, quite a few different effects of inertia, speed limits um, and gravity obviously. So uh, what I'll do now is show you and verify that this is actually what happens in game. So uh, in order to launch this prop I've got to apply force and apply torque um, set up actually within the initial conditions uh, expression um, and that'll launch it uh, to get a perfect launch so I requ this requires me to perfectly predict what the initial conditions will be I um, just make the prop go to sleep uh, and then reapply gravity so now the prop's asleep but it's got gravity applied so if I launch you should see the real prop do exactly what the holograms just predicted it would like so. So there you go, that's uh, a perfect prediction. Um, the only limit here uh, as to how accurate I can be is the, st the step size. Um, to give you an idea of what that is, these holograms are positioned along every four uh, steps. Um, so in my calculation it does uh, four steps in between each one. Um, and I can obviously just in increase that resolution to as, as high as I like. I'll, uh, I'll show you another completely different kind of simulation. So uh, if I change some velocities, if we now give it angular velocity in the z around the z axis, um, orient it a bit different. This will be completely different. So uh, let's go ahead and refresh those two compute another trajectory uh, now the trajectory is complete and I'll plot it again alright that's an interesting one um, looks kind of like a helix so uh, again I'll just show you there you go the green prop is well uh, the green hologram is um, what the prop's going to do Um, I'll just draw your attention to the colour as well. The, the colour of these holograms is proportional to the um, speed, uh, translational speed that the props got. And you can see, obviously, that linear air drag's taken out a lot of the horizontal uh, component of the velocity, which is why this doesn't look like a parabola um, in reality. And in Gary's mod, uh, things don't travel in parab parabolas because of the uh, air drag. So uh, I'll go ahead and launch this. Again, same thing. Send the prop to sleep. Give it back its gravity and launch. So, there you go.